Hello and welcome to another tutorial for A1 Website Pro. This particular uh, video is going to be about our feed burner, our feed burner settings and styling our emails when they go out to our users. A lot of people want to know how to edit the title, maybe put a little logo or graphic in their email, include their featured image and so on and so forth. So, well, one of the ways they include the featured image is if, if you get A1 Website Pro, you over, see over here functions for WordPress. If you open that up real quick, I'll show you uh, what you need to do. Uh, if you scroll down here, <clears throat> if you want to include a featured image in your RSS feed, just copy this code and put it in your functions file. Okay, that's all you have to do. But a lot of people want to know how to get everything styled, and so that's what this is about. If we go to our feed burner, and this is the one for A1 Website Pro, if uh, you click on this publicize tab, and then you want to click on email branding, okay? That's what we're looking for, email branding here. And in this top section, we have the email subject. Now, you could have a word, like I have a1websitepro.com, and every uh, in the email uh, subject heading title like you can see right here a one website pro dot com and then I have the name of the article itself and so you get that by putting this little code right here and that will reveal whatever that article's name is right there okay and then the next thing that you can do is if you have more than one uh, post going out more than one email say you ha have you're on a WordPress and you've had more than one so you just want to let usually feed burner will deliver in one email but if you want to let the people know that there's more then you could just put this code in there as well and uh, I'll be including this article as well on my website it will be my latest one and it'll be called uh, customizing feed burner email subscriptions and including your RSS feed now what does that mean so um, once you go down through here and you make all these settings you can include your uh, a logo URL okay in, in your uh, email subscription so we could just include that right here and that's where you'll get this little guy right here on the right okay and then you can uh, style the head font right here and the size, you know, whatever size you want, the heading and then the body. Uh, you can give it a background color, uh, body color and then uh, item headline uh, or the link color. Okay, and this kind of gives you a little uh, thing of what it's going to look like. Now, Feedburner a lot of times, uh, you'll see, oh, my little guy disappeared. Let me put them back in there. Okay, so you see my little guy. This is kind of like uh, what it's going to look like. Okay, now notice that it didn't put my background colors black or uh, my heading in white, but I'm sure that whenever it gets delivered, that it's going to, uh, you know, it's going to be able to uh, provide. I notice that my logo goes out, but when it gets delivered, you can see that the stuff is in there. Okay. So what am I talking about when I talk about my RSS feeds? Well. If you look, go to my website, you click on YouTube videos, you'll see here if you want to be notified when we upload a video because people can now subscribe over here if they want to know if I make a new post on A1 Website Pro, but a lot of times I'll just upload YouTube videos instead of creating a whole new post. And so some people want to know whenever I get, you know, whenever I upload a new video. Now we all know that people could subscribe to my YouTube channel, but what if they don't have a YouTube channel? How do they subscribe? Well, they could subscribe right here by entering their email and clicking subscribe. And here I included a copy of all of my videos right over here. But the other cool thing that you could do is include your YouTube videos over on the left. So whenever people come over on your website, they can see your latest YouTube channels, so even though you might not have posts for them. So this is a good way to include your YouTube's videos and you know create some backlink strategy uh, for your website. So how do you do that, right? Okay, Max, get to the point. Well, if you go to your user, uh, account all right at YouTube right youtube.com usually says user and then the name of your channel mine is Maximus McCullough well right here before user okay type in the letters R S S and then put another slash just like that and you'll notice YouTube will regenerate the URL and voila there you go this is the feed that you want to burn on your feed burner 
Okay, so you'll just take this and burn the feed like you normally do, okay? And then you can include it in, in your sidebars, uh, you know, your, your YouTube uh, feed, you could take this, include it in your sidebars, or, or you could create an, an, an email subscription like you normally would do. And if you have any uh, <coughs> trouble uh, on uh, create, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, I created another article for FeedBurner for WordPress. And uh, if you search my site here, I'll show you what article it is that you need to uh, go over here. So this is a cool one for a feed burner headline, but this is the one you want, feed burner for WordPress. And in there, I show you how to burn a feed with feed burner. So I'm not going to repeat myself here because I've already included that in another video tutorial as well. But now this one's going to be published here in a couple minutes, and I hope I was able to help you guys on how to burn a feed with a feed burner, and then again have it in your website for your YouTube videos. Okay, this is Max with A1 Website Pro. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to contact me. Bye.